Guys, it is finally here. This is a big thing for us Texans. Fall, fall is here. We're tired of it being hot. It was 100 degrees yesterday and today, well, it's already killing the tree. This thing was green. It's gonna be all over, all over the place by the end of the week. Guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. Make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment. I love your memes. Let's hop in here. Do I have anything secret in here right now? No, but it's dirty. As you guys have seen, we have made some serious progress on some stuff. IS 300 runs, about to hit the Civic. Before we get going today, first off, this video is brought to you by Morning Brew, and we'll talk about them here in a minute. I have a secret car that I haven't shown you guys yet. It's a giveaway car that you guys will know about October 1st. Our next giveaway starts October 1st. You guys haven't seen the car yet. I'm gonna be taking that car to Trackstar today, dropping off the RB25 head. We tried doing the titanium springs in it. I don't have the right tools. Ethan does, so he'll be doing that. So I'm gonna be putting all this stuff in a car you guys just don't know about. How does that feel? You guys will see it in a week. I'm certain you'll be amped on it. The built head is one of the last things we need for this. I'm also still waiting on wheels. Guys, the wheel world is insane right now. Lead times are nuts. So don't hate on a brand just because you think they take too long or they're not answering you, I guarantee you it's because they just don't wanna to talk to you because they're tired of hearing people ask about, when are my lips getting in? Well, you know what? I'm on the same list as you guys. It takes a long time right now. Here's the RB head. Let's go ahead and get it into the car. Today's video is brought to you and sponsored by Morning Brew. Do me a favor real quick. Analyze your morning real quick. How? How does it look? Are you sitting down on the pot, scrolling <laughs> aimlessly on social media? Are you getting real information to help start your day? Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter that gives you lots of witty, great information. Now, if you guys know me, I'm, I'm not a very biased or I'm not a very opinionated person. I like fresh, brilliant, usable information. And to be honest, traditional news these days is dry and dense, if you will. One article that stuck out to me was the Lucid Motors EV. So they actually have Tesla beat now with the longest, at 520 miles, a single charge, basically the longest lasting EV. There's really cool stuff like this every single day. Morning Brew gives a lot of witty, nice information, especially if you guys are into tech, business, or finance. It's amazing. Now, it is a free to use. Like I said, it's free to sign up. It does take like 15 seconds. I'm lazy. I hate signing up for things, but it is very easy. <laughs> Believe me, I'm like, I'm the type of dude that's like, ah, I gotta go subscribe to something. I don't know. I did it, and it really is painless. It's also easy to use. Can't get too much better than free and only 15 seconds of your time. Use this link that I've got for you below to sign up today. You can get caught up to speed with the world in as little as five minutes. And go on with your day. Stop wasting your time watching people dancing around, <laughs> watch, scrolling through social media and uh, spending more time than you should. Start your day a little better and stop just <laughs> scrolling through and watching dancing videos in the morning. Get some real information. Thanks to Morning Brew for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to it. Very spacious. Got my RB oil pan in here along with the uh, oil squirter deletes. Right. Go. Gotta get a few things here. Oh, guys, I miss you. <laughs> guys, we've had um, quite the scenario with this car. It's been interesting. Let me show you guys. You'll see this uh, probably, hopefully pretty soon. When we came here in April, it had an eBay turbo on it. And uh, well, the distributor cut power. So we did a coil on plug conversion. And now it's been having some interesting tuning issues. Timing, like timing drift. We're getting some timing drift that we're working. We're trying okay. to work on a correct trigger filtering and stuff to get rid of that. So when we get on it, 10 degrees are disappearing, which means 100 horsepower yeah, is, is disappearing. Sure. You can add more timing in the tune, but it's not really the right way to do it. Sure. We're trying to remedy that before we go for the, I don't want any handicap for <laughs> all of the power here. We, uh, we're really kind of going Cindy here. I went ahead and took, you'll see the video, but uh, we came here a couple months ago and put this turbo on. It's the, it's the Comp 6865 that I was gonna run on my GTE. I'm gonna do a different setup on my GTE and you guys will, um, oh, there's my Z. 
I love you, and I, I haven't forgotten about you. I need my eBay turbo, because we're gonna be putting that and mocking it up for What's the Supra. The other Supra, okay. the, the, the meth Supra. We tried to do this, me and Kevin, and uh, we had, well, show me your tool that So you we have. have a different style than what you guys were using. Okay. Um, one, the bar's oh, not here right now, but yeah. this is gonna bolt on. I slide a bar through, and then it gives me major mechanical advantage. So that's the problem, is I had no leverage. That's and then enough. also, I bet you the C-clamp like probably dominates this whole area where you don't have much yeah, room. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna do a trick where I'm gonna put the keepers in, then I'm gonna put a piece of tape over it, then I'm gonna push on it, and then I just gotta barely so keep pressure. So stay in there, yeah. because yeah. otherwise they, you know, it's too tricky to like try to sneak it's them in there. It's pretty hard to do this. Yeah. You got these like chonky, chonky titanium springs, and these things, I mean, there is so much pressure, and that'll let us rev. Real high, right? Oh yeah, all the, all the way, I guess. All the <laughs> way to the moon. He's gonna do this. Now, I guess, let's go we'll ahead get... and get back to it at the shop. And we'll see you soon for the Supra. All right. Woo. Look at that, guys. <laughs> that's so awesome. So that's going by the throttle body. Correct. Down into the, that's the cold side of the intercooler. And down into the fender well, up to the intercooler. Damn, he just got it polished up a little bit. That looks... So nice. Yeah, I'm excited to see the whole thing come out. Holy crap. Um, usually I would go aluminum on this, but aluminum, for one, it's hard to make pretty. Honestly, aluminum just doesn't look that good. Unless you wrinkle black it or something, I don't like it. Titanium, way too expensive, not worth it. So stainless is gonna be the move. We are getting the intercooler done today, all that kind of stuff. This is the last little bit for the IS300. While Drew is doing that, I am going to be installing my shortened spindles that I got from Mother Russia. Check these guys out, and I will explain to you guys what exactly these things do and why I need them. Oh, sheesh. All right, gotta cut into this beautiful work of art. Oh my, this is gonna get messy. Ah. Oh, why did they make this so difficult? This is so disgusting. There you go. So these are stock spindles that have been cut and re-welded. Basically, to my knowledge, what happens with an IS300, when you lower them, the spindles are so tall, and the roll center, since it needs to be raised a little bit, will actually, like, when you fully compress the suspension, your upper control arm will actually hit the shock tower, like whatever you want to call it, the top. I'm blanking right now. Don't want that to happen, that's really sketchy. Also have roll center adjusters, and this is what I was actually sent the wrong, the, the part that I was sent that was wrong four or five months ago, I think, was the wrong roll center adjusters. My dude used like $50 worth of wrap. <laughs> now that I finally got this out, this might not be the correct side, but these are your roll center adjusters, they're adapters. You're lifting your spindle up a little bit higher so it doesn't sag as much. So this should give you a good idea on what's going on here. So the right one, obviously, is the new spindle. It's much shorter. Uh, I want to say it's about an inch, inch and a half. I want to say 30 millimeters. 30, maybe 40 millimeters is how short we're going. And that kind of also compensates for the length, like for this too. So that's going to be now sitting under that, lifting that spindle up, also making it go about back up to where it was with perfect roll center. Maybe actually a little bit lower. It's actually gonna be about right. Yeah. That sure was kind of annoying. Um, waited for six months to get the wrong hardware. So I went to the hardware store. It seems to work. Um, and I guess it works. I'm about to paint the brake calipers because I feel like it and nobody can stop me. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really cool, huh? So I gotta show you guys this. Uh, that is now the cool side, that's gonna look really sick when some stuff's out of the way. Thanks, man. That looks really good, dude. Day two. And here we go. Hey, we're getting it. So, I finally got, I gotta re-roll the fender some more. Look at that. That's some cool color. And we're nice and low, but yeah, I gotta pull the fenders. That is the most negative camber I can get out of basically fully adjustable front suspension that's not $2,000 worth of lower control arms. And but you like the brakes? I feel like I got, it's like a little bit of it's some Colette, some Colette action going on there. All right, so it's been about an hour. I have gotten all of my suspension work done in the front, and I even pulled the fenders further. The fitment will be nice for, uh, 
For driving a lot, I could go lower, don't really want to, but uh, it should be just enough fender clearance to where I shouldn't rub a lot, and I should be able to, whenever the suspension compresses, it should camber in and not really rub too much. So, I'd still need to do the rear. Let's see what's going on over here with Drew. Up, uh, this much of the intercooler tube, so this gets us down into the fender apron. It's literally, <laughs> but this took a day and a half, so. Yeah. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Ooh. Is, it hot? is it not hot? Yeah, it's pretty warm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it just barely clears everything. So. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, so now we're going under here. God, that's going to look so cool. Everything's cleaned up. But End of there, and voila. Now we just got to come out and around and get that intercooler on. Guys, it's seriously an amazing day i think i think it's it's so amazing outside it's making me cringe i think i'm gonna make my first tiktok i'm an old man i've been doing youtube for like 10 years now i didn't actually know tiktok was big especially for cars i might start doing it so follow me my original one doesn't exist anymore so i had to make a new one so you gotta follow the new one kind of silly but i can't even delete the old one so oops i did it got you smiling like that like <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the talk in the description. I'll try and start making that content. It's just so out of the normal for me. There we go. That's close enough. We're gonna have to make this intercooler pretty low, unfortunately. I mean, that's just how all of them are. It's a good size. It's fine. Uh, we won't have to make too many modifications or any at all. And now Drew's just gonna basically have to connect. Whoosh, to there and then start going from there through right there. I'm so in love with this, it's so cool. <laughs> it turned out pretty neat. I got one last little bead to roll, uh, but this side is pretty well done. Stainless steel, that's sick looking. <laughs> how the hell does this thing work? I know how it works, but it just it looks funny. It does, <laughs> trying to get set up. Ooh, that's still hot. <laughs> you still have to loosen it, I think. Ooh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a minute. <laughs> Oh jeez. <laughs> I like the way the intake is. We should probably keep it like that. Yeah. So we're going uh, on the hot side, going um, two and a half inches all the way there, and then we're gonna step it up because the bottle body's huge. Hey, you're gonna be able to do that all in one piece. Yep. That'll be a fun puzzle. <laughs> a few moments later. And the answer was no. <laughs> we ended up bead rolling those and um, just doing a couple right there. So I'm, I'm really only gonna be pushing probably like 12, I don't know what this turbo is really capable of, but probably like 12, 15 PSI. So um, having one more hose right there that's super accessible is uh, totally fine. So let's go ahead. And I did go ahead and put some dress up bolts on. It's looking nice. I have the whole rest of the engine bay to do, but I'm putting it kind of back together now. We're gonna try and put the bumper on. We're gonna have to do a little bit of modification to either the intercooler or the bumper, but it's totally fine. Ooh! That's nice. Look at that, boys and girls. This, is a, this has been a long time coming. Look at that. We got the intercooler. That, an intercooler just makes every car look cooler and drive cooler. That was kind of cringe, but here we go. So we've got, man, we actually have a finished engine bay. It's actually complete. That looks so, Drew, that looks so cool. <laughs> that, those pie cuts are mad. We definitely need a better welder though. I, I'm so excited to see what we can do. We wanted to start doing some serious fab stuff in here, so I'm, uh, I'm super down for that. We need a bunch of hose clamps and stuff, but for now everything should fit pretty okay. Let's, Turn her on and hear what this turbo does. I love the muffler. Like, this is a cold start. I can hear myself talking. That's important. Let's see what she do. I think we got a leak somewhere. We need hose clamps. We wanted to keep everything polished, so we've got the polished intake, polished steel there. Honestly, I usually don't like steel intercooler piping because 
It doesn't always look good. Sometimes it looks cheap, but if you do it right, like Drew did, it looks really good. That's polished and nice. We've still got to do a lot of little things, various here and there. Adapt power steering and do AN. We've got to make some sort of box over here to hide the fuses and stuff. We want to continue to make it cleaner, but uh, man, this is absolutely fire. <laughs> It's actually tomorrow, if you guys are watching this, next day, but I'm gonna sneak this in here. We've got all the clamps on. I wanted to actually get some turbo noises and uh, test it out some more, so let's get it. <laughs> Ignore my power steering, it's, it's just dying. <laughs> that is gonna make some insane, insane stutus, boys. That's my favorite thing ever. Ooh. Yes! So good. Guys, I want to say first off, thank you for your patience and all of this. This has been a crazy long time coming for this build. And a lot of people have been looking forward to it and I know I kind of let it up for let down, just like not touching it for so long. But uh, really it has been so great having, having Drew here to do all this amazing stuff. Um, we, next video will be the video that I send this car. We'll fix everything else on it now that uh, everything has been fabricated. We need to fabricate no more. Aside from little things, the next video, power steering or not, uh, I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna drive it. We're gonna do a fat burnout right here. I'll get some concussive two-step going. Too. Yeah, also concussive two-step is also helpful. But right here, boys. I'm gonna I'm gonna break. I'm gonna christen this concrete. I've done one burnout with a Miata, and it, obviously you can't even tell it was done here. So. That's what's gonna happen. This is maybe one of the best, or if not the best, IS 300 engine bay possible. And you know what's great, guys? It's a GE. You don't have to do a GTE swap. Let's, let's go ahead and cancel that thought right now. You can make it look good if you just put some love, time, effort, and money into it. Guys, every video I end with daily advice for you guys, and I'm gonna do it again today. What I wanna give you guys today is something a lot of you guys might need to hear. Tomorrow can always be better. I have to write that down sometimes. I have, I've gotten bit up by mosquitoes, I'm sorry. This is like kind of rough. I have to write that down for myself sometimes. <sighs> Cause some days, I just have a bad day. Some days are just bad. And I struggle with depression. I have bad anxiety and uh, it really takes over my life. No matter how much I try and grip the wheel and take over the wheel, uh, it's, it, it can sometimes just consumes me. And it's, it's really hard to deal with sometimes. And what I want you guys to know that if you, Deal with depression, anxiety. If you struggle with even suicidal thoughts, tomorrow can always be better. Just make sure you give yourself the opportunity for a tomorrow. Just because tonight sucks, because today sucks, because your morning sucks, doesn't mean tomorrow can't be way better. Guys, honestly, I had a rough day yesterday and um, I honestly had a bad night and I had to remind myself Tomorrow can always be better, and it was. Today was fantastic because it's fall, and uh, honestly, that was my biggest gratefulness today. I hate summer in Texas because it's the worst. Sorry that you guys have to uh, deal with cooler weather everywhere else, but uh, this is the only livable part of the year here in Texas. So guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll catch you all later. Subscribe, turn those notifications on, and have a good one. Peace. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch. It helps me a ton if you continue watching content. And also just make sure you're subscribed and the notifications are on. Take it easy.